What is going on, everybody? Bobby Fi with my man, Eric Shee Tabor. We are going to be talking about the British Open this week, and it's uh, it's going to be fun. I haven't played so much golf lately because I've had my Wednesday things, but I'm going to make sure to be playing this week. As Sheet said, I'm going to win a million dollars, so I have to play. That's pretty much the way it works. And uh, let's do it, Sheets. Are you ready to ready to attack this one? Yeah, so it's good. This is contest uh, $25. It says golf millionaire. At 100000 is per second, which is what I'm playing for. So <laughs> I, I'm, I'm really excited about it. I, I, I really want the 100000 I want to I have a good six-figure cash. And so I just got to beat, you know, everybody else except for Bobby. So that, I can do that. Um, yeah. So we'll, we'll, we'll see how it goes. Absolutely. Um, all right. I love, I love that idea. So let's, let's get into it. Let's pull up your screen yeah. and we're going to play our, you know, go, go by our tiers and we'll play our game and see who's actually, who we're actually going to be stuck with here. Now, here. now, now it's only Tuesday. So I really don't have like that great ownerships yet. Um, so I'm really just going to be focused hopefully on, on like the good plays and I, I listen, my, my ownership says I have them now are just so everybody's everybody's too low. Right. Um, as ownerships come in, just the way that I keep the data, everybody will be higher. So if you guys are looking on true DFS for my projections, it's extremely early. I wouldn't look until tomorrow. The other thing that every, that we have to keep in mind um, with this tournament, wherever it is, and especially this at this course is the, the weather conditions you've got to really stay on top of this right up until lock yep. um, Absolutely. to make sure that you, that you are, that you have the, you have the golfers that are not going to get buried okay, by, by, by the weather. And all I can say is just, just stay, you know, stay on top of the news and, and all that. So I, I'm, I'm assuming, you know, everybody has equal weather for the purposes of this analysis. But if you get a situation where you, you see somebody's tea time is going to be in terrible weather, you could totally, you know, you can hand adjust or whatever. And, I, and I'm going to be able to probably put in, you know, I have to be able to find a way to do an updated projection before lock, which is going to be, so it's going to be 1 a.m. <laughs> like Wednesday night into Thursday, but I, I should be able to do it. Um, we'll see. But uh, we're going we're gonna to presume on, uh, right now that everything's everything's sort of the same. Yep. Yep. Absolutely. Okay. Um all right, well, let's let's get into it. Uh, let's start talking about the top tier. Who are your favorites? Because I think you can make cases, obviously, for everyone, as you always can in the top tier. Who are the guys you're looking at the heaviest? Yeah, so I think that the um, the first thing is that, and this is going to be probably not a particularly bold take, is that I don't think you need that much in this top range at all anyway. Uh, I think that you can, you can get by without really getting too much exposure to any of these guys. Um, I do happen to, to like Rory the best. Uh, and I, it, it pains me to do it because just, I just would just rather not play a Rory McIlroy in the British open. It's just so, it seems so freaking obvious. You know what I mean? That I'd rather just not do it, but he is showing up. And especially as the, as the highest priced golfer over guys like Scheffler and Rahm and JT and all these dudes. Um, but he is rating the best for me. And uh, that's who I prefer. And, and I would, would rather not play these others. Um, mm -hmm. But if I had to rank them below him, I would say JT, then Spieth, maybe, then Scheffler. And John Rahm might be, uh, might be fishy. I don't know. I had not done anything in a while. But for me, it's, it's Rory or nothing from this range. I, 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 I understand all the stuff with Rory. I'm curious to see where the ownership actually ends up. <laughs> Um, I do like Rory, but I don't, he's not my favorite. My favorite in this range would be JT, um, followed by Rom and then Spieth probably, uh, Spieth, I think is going to end up, I think he might end up being the most popular because of his price and history and all that stuff and played well last week, played well, sort of on the uptick, um, lately. So I, I think, I think those are my favorites there. I, I, if Scotty Scheffler just goes out and does it, I mean, I don't know what to do. I, I probably, right. maybe I end up losing. I don't know what happens. I'm still debating what to do with him. I, I don't know. If it's going to depend a little bit on how bad the weather gets. I want to play my weather guys and uh, Rory and JT would be the guys who I, who fit that category along with speed, probably the best on this course. Um, so that's where I'm at here. All right. How about in the, uh, the pretty loaded nine K range? So if you're not playing, no, 10Ks, no, no kidding. <laughs> yeah. If you're not playing the 10 Ks. You got plenty of good options just below. So who, who's sort of sticking out for you? Yeah. Um, my top three, I guess, um, 
are Cantlay, Xander, and and the aforementioned Shane Lowry, who I mentioned yesterday as someone I just on principle don't want to play. He's just such he just looks like the freaking British Open champion. Yeah, I think he is might be the British Open champion. <laughs> um he did with the beard and and uh, this and then and you could just he probably plays the Lynx courses like like four like seven times seven days a week. Um and he's been really good this year. Um so far be it for me to say he's a bad play. Um but but Xander I mean, coming off the win, uh, but he's certainly still rated to be really strong. But I still have Cantlay for some reason the best. So um, Cantlay first for me, then Shoffle, then Lowry. But any, I mean, I'm not going to argue with Fitzpatrick. I'm not going to argue with Zalatoris, Smith. I mean, the, the whole the whole range is just loaded. Yeah, I agree. Um, I think Cam Smith is one of my favorites to win the tournament. So I'm going to have to. Well, I like that. I'm going to have to play a ton of Cam Smith and uh, he's, he's my favorite in this range. I, I like, uh, I, again, Xander Fitzpatrick are going to be making some, the, I'll have some of them. I'll have some of the Lowry, but I'll probably be below the field is going to be all over him. I think um, I, I haven't decided what to do with Cantlay yet. I starting to think in general, this is not the right kind of tournament for it, but in general, the fade, the older guys thing has really been the way to play golf. I mean, these younger guys are just look at everybody in the top 10. They're all these young guys. And uh and the guy who's going to probably get the least ownership in this range is just always shows up at majors. And this is probably not the right course. And it's probably not the right, this and that. But uh, I just think Will is Alatoris, if he ends up really low owned because of where he's priced at, I might just decide to, to hold my breath and play him over Fitz or Xander, which uh, sounds good to me. I don't, I don't, that sounds fine to me. Yeah. Um, so, and then, uh, and then it's a little sneaky Hideki down at the bottom, I think is, is, is reasonable, but I probably, it's not like a priority. It's just a guy who I'm considering because I think he's going to be really low owned. All right. You know what I'm going to do in this next range? You know who my favorite, favorite guy is going to well, be? Well, you know what? I mean, it's like my, 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 I have four guys in the AK range. They're all like freaking just tremendous plays. And two of them are guys you play every week. Um, so uh, you, uh, you could start. You could start. With you. Okay, I'll go. I'll go. Um, the obvious one for me. I, the, in my my my, I like I like the bet to win the whole thing. By the way, on on Fleetwood, um, he looked great last week again. You know, guy found his way. What did he end up third or something? Uh, I just think that you know the weather gets tough and it's weird. He like he struggles when it's like perfect weather, and then every time the wind comes up or he's on a tough course or something, he just he he shines. And I I am very high on Fleetwood this week. Uh, as my favorite play in this range I think we could start thinking about Brooks I'm probably not going to do it but uh, I think I would prefer to play uh, Terrell Hatton and uh, Tony I'm considering Tony Finau um, I, I feel very iffy on everybody else except for Neiman and Fleetwood uh, and I guess you could throw Hatton into that mix but I, I definitely I'm sort of still trying to figure out what I want to do with Finau uh, Brooks are my favorite other two, but I, I don't know if I'm going to end up even with them. And then, you know, I, I think a fairly low on Sam Barnes is, is Sam Burns is kind of interesting. Um, that's pretty much what I got. I think Neiman though is uh, Neiman and uh, Fleetwood are clearly my favorites here. Yep. And those are the two that I, that I was alluding to um, guys that we play quite a bit. And I think those are my two favorites today. Um, Neiman and, and Fleetwood. Um, and the other guy you mentioned was Bino. Um, those are three of the top four for me. And the fourth one is a guy I don't play too often and ain't nobody playing him. I don't think, but at 8,300 doesn't seem like the right thing to do, but I'd like Sun JM at 8,300. Mm -hmm. Um, so, uh, Fleetwood, Neiman, Finau and M are my four favorites. I like it. Um, all right. So let's, let's do seven, let's do 75 to, to 8k because I always struggle getting to all my plays in the, uh, when we do it all at once. Um, and then we'll go down to seven, if you don't mind, 7,500, 7,000 to 7,500. Yeah. Um, I, I love Homa. Um, he's going he's to be pretty awesome. chalky though. Yeah. I, I think that's, that's, that's the one thing I have to deal with, but I, I do really like him. He is a guy who he's a, a guy who's an, a, a, a somewhat of a priority for me. I like Adam Scott. Um, Ooh. I, you know, he struggled in some of these, some of these, got some rough draws has had some up and down stuff this year. I just feel like this is the kind of tournament I could see him showing up at. And I, I, I do have some interest in Adam Scott and I have some interest in, I don't know if I really want to do, say it. I, I mean, look, he's going to be owned this week and he hasn't been owned yet, 
I think if there was a time that Tiger could actually make some sort of a, a run into the weekend, I'm not saying win the damn thing, but like to be in there, I really think that this would be the one to do it. So this is the kind of course. And then if, if the weather sort of, if it is bad, it sort of negates all of everyone's advantages over him and not being able to fully swing the way he can. And he's, he's as good in that kind of situation as anybody because he's the best on approach. He's the best around the greens. I mean, historically, I'm not saying right now. Um, but so I like, I like Adam Scott and Homa as my priorities, um, considering Webb, considering Paul Casey, and then considering Tiger Woods. Um, okay. So I, uh, 7,500 and above, I think Homa is, is the first guy you have to play in cash. The first guy you have to play in single entry. I think he's just way too cheap. Um, and he's going to be on. Right. So, so build your lineups accordingly. The other guy I have, I have two other guys over 7,500 and you alluded to one of them. I mean, look, is it possible that for the British open Casey could manage to not withdraw? I mean, is it, is it possible that I could play him one time and him not withdraw? Um, I, he happens to look good at 7,500. Um, and I don't have him see him get known. So I'm yeah, going to have everyone's it. Ter everyone's terrified of it. So I love that call. Yeah. And then the other one I have, I just kind of keep playing this guy um, is Cam Young um, at 7,800. He's awesome. And that's probably, it's like the last place he's probably going to do well. Yeah. Right? I agree with that. Both of those things. He's <laughs> but, an awesome golfer, but yeah. But hey, what is it going to be? 3% or whatever? Who knows? Yeah. So I'll, I'll take a shot with that. So, so it'd be Homa and then the petrified Casey play and then the, the no shot. But who knows? You get Cam Young rolling, he'll forget. He'll forget he's at the Open Championship. You know what I mean? They'll just, mm -hmm. uh, you know, whatever. So I like those guys, and I'm not. I'm not playing. Yeah, and I think that, like, I mean, look, if you're playing a bunch of lineups, I think you could sprinkle in like Leishman, Simpson, and and answer at all, and feel fine about it. They actually should be okay on this type of course, um, in my opinion. But I, I like the other guys a little better, and I'm they're definitely not priorities for me. Who you got in the 7K to 7,500 range? So the first guy we have to talk about um, uh, is Ryan Fox, okay? Because yeah. this, is, this, is, this is exactly the type of guy I don't want to play, okay? Interesting. So he, he, he just does nothing but smash in these types of things, right? He's, <laughs> he plays the World Tour, like the Pseudo Open, the Dutch Open, the International Open, the Irish Open, okay? And last week he was huge chalk, okay? Um, and you know, he made the cut or whatever it is. Um, and I, I just, I, this is, this is the, I think this is the guy that's going to be 20%. I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know why I think that because this is, this is what people like to do. I mean, they like to play these guys and maybe I should too, but, um, these are the types of guys I like, I like to fade these, these road course racers, these freaking, these whatevers. So, um, I'm not going to do that. Uh, he is showing up as a pretty decent play for me, though. Um, but I think he's going to be too choppy. My favorite, for whatever it's worth, in this range, and it's by a lot, uh, is actually Seamus Power. Um, so I'll just throw that out into the ecosystem and hope it sticks. And then the other guy who I like, uh, I have two others. One is, is a frustrating Keegan Bradley and a non-frustrating uh, go back to Mito Pereira. So those, uh, I will go back to the, uh, to, to the Sega Knight Raquel pairing of, of, <laughs> of, of Mito and, and, uh, and, and Neiman. Um, again, probably not the right, the right idea on a course like this. You're probably supposed to take Terrell Hatton and Shane Lowry and Ryan Fox and the guys with the beards and all that stuff. But uh, I'm going to go with the homers and the young guys and, 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 the, and, and whatever and, and, and see what happens. Yeah, I feel like I don't have a ton of priorities for, for this range. There's a lot of guys who I'm interested in, but I, again, I'm still interested to see what, where the ownership ends. I like Fox. Victor Perez, I've been told by a couple of people, that's a good play. Um, I have to look into that one a little further. Aaron Wise at 7K flat. Mm -hmm. Gary Woodland. I don't have a huge priority amongst these guys, though. I'm sort of just like naming names, but they're guys who I, I all have some interest in. Thomas Peters, uh, Mito. Uh, my, the only guy I, I really want to prioritize for sure. I, I like the Seamus power idea. I'm open to Justin Rose. Ooh, and I, there you I, go. I really like Taylor Gooch though. Um, so Ooh, I, you get, Taylor you Gooch, don't forget well. you get a Gooch home a pairing. Gooch home pairing. Yep. Hopefully, yeah. hopefully you get that Gooch home a pairing on day three or something like mm -hmm. that. That would be awesome. Yep. Um, yeah, I, I'm into all that. And then 
uh, for old time's sake, I don't think that uh, Sergio is the worst idea in the world. So, and he's going to be unowned. I, I also want to throw out the gala. Like I'm going to be sprinkling parts of all of these guys, but I, I'm not prioritizing. I'm probably skipping more, more of the upper 7K range and probably going to focus more on some of these guys because I don't love, uh, I, I just, I don't love the 75 to 8K and I do like some of these guys and it allows me to get a couple of those 9K guys in that we really like. So that's what I'm doing. Uh, also throw it out Siwoo is now in the, in the, in the field. I, I never mind playing a low on Siwoo. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. How about the, uh, that down in the 6k range sheets, I'm gonna let you go first. Cause there's, you know, you know me, I'm just going to sprinkle in a few guys, um, that I like, but it's, well, it's I mean, we got to ask Kenny about these 7k guys that, that when you, whose names you can't pronounce, I don't know. Um, the one guy I like below 7k, it's really just one guy. It barely is, is Keith Mitchell. Um, I'm not getting anybody else. I mean, James Vanderhoffs or whoever else is, whoever, whoever else is, Eric Van, Van Luven, Spiegelman or whatever, these guys below 7K. I have no idea who they are. Um, so I'm going to let Kenny come up with the other 7Ks or, or, or your secret golf guys. Uh, maybe they have something good for me in the, in the under 7K. All right. So I'm going to throw out some names here. And right, here we go. Here we go. Okay, so, well, Brian Harmon. Oh, okay. Uh, that's a reasonable name. I feel like at, I, I've heard of him yeah. at, at 6,900. Um, I like what I I'm kind of confused at why no one would consider Kitayama coming off of a second place, uh, you know, in a, I don't want to say it's the same thing, but it's on the same side of the world. Um, I have some interest in Kitayama and, uh, especially if no one ends up playing him, I think Chris Kirk is viable. Uh, I, I also understand the Mitchell thing. I think Mitchell ends up as the, as the most popular of these guys. Yeah, for sure. Um, uh, probably not going to play Stuart sink, but he's on my list right now. Uh, Eric Van Ruyen, uh, I think that EVR is definitely in play for, especially if the conditions are no good. Uh, I like mm -hmm. these, you know, sometimes I like to play these South Africans. Um, other guys who I've got on here, Wyndham Clark. Um, <laughs> as gross as it sounds, Phil Mickelson. Uh, it, you know, I, I just, I don't know. I, 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 I sometimes can't resist myself because of what, you know, I think he could, it wouldn't surprise me. That's how I'm looking at these guys. It wouldn't surprise me if they actually made a run and he's one of them. Um, although he's looked terrible. I'm sure Kenny will, 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 will bang the Richard Bland drum. So I'll there it is. Richard Bland um, as a potential guy. Uh, I will throw out Alexander Bjork, who I've heard a little, a little bit about, but I need to look into further. And again, they're mostly going to be sprinkles for me. So I'm not prioritizing like pretty much any of these guys. Although I could see myself by the end of it, talking myself into Kitayama and Harmon, um, maybe Kirk as, as the guys I end you, up You know, with. okay, so you know who's playing well? Um, I, I hit, I don't know, we haven't spoken about it. I hit like eighth or something like that in a single entry. Was it last week, the week before yeah, actually? Yeah. And, and Matt and Grillo played really well. He was TT2 in that in that tournament. Oh my God, don't Grillo me. I, I, I might have to do it then, shoot. No, no, he was, he was, he was awesome, you know? And, and um, you know, he's under 7K. I mean, it's possible. Yeah. Um, so I'll just throw him out there. Uh, I'm just looking at the guys. They all kind of rank kind of the same. So I'll, I'll, gu I'll guess I'll go up with the name. No one's heard of him. How about, how about Audrey Arnos? Mm -hmm. oh, he'll be, he'll be, I don't know. So I played um, him actually. I played him a couple of tournaments back. Oh, we've heard of him. No, that's no good. We have to find him. No, no but I mean, I hadn't heard of him before that. <laughs> right. Okay. There you go. <laughs> um, uh, another one that, that, that I've heard is, uh, Ju Young Kim. Okay. All right. Uh, again, don't know much about these guys. Uh, Lucas Herbert. There's a bunch of guys who, who's, and you know what I'm going to do is I'm probably going to end up mixing them and not because I need to get to the top, but because if I can get more of those nine K guys in the better, yes. if that's what I want to do. I'm going to try and focus heavily on that nine K range. So but as you, as you said, man, they, they, one of these guys is always, always, always in there. <laughs> mm -hmm. Absolutely. Even at these tournaments and this one, maybe less so that kind of tournament, but I mean, Kitty Yama just like, he almost yeah. came back and won that tournament the other day over Xander and uh, Spieth at, on, on, uh, on Sunday. Yeah. Um, all right. So let's go play the game sheets. Who are you picking at the, t so I, I, my guess is we're, we might both pick guys who are not in the top thing to win here. What are you, who are you going to pick to win? Um, I'm going to pick Patrick Cantley. Oh, okay. That means I have to play Patrick Cantley. Here we go. Okay. Um, I am, <laughs> it was so sick to do this. Um, I, I, I'm, 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 I'm picking Fleetwood to win in general, but I want to just say that Justin Thomas will probably be my highest owned player in this range. Well, I will tell you this, and this is, I mean, literally Garrett, the only reason I can't do it right now is because if I try to launch DK Sportsbook when I'm running Zoom, it gets, DraftKings gets mad at me. 
Oh, but, yeah. But once we once we hang up, I will be betting Fleetwood to win. I, I'm, um, I'm curious what the odds are. I, I was early on. It was in the I think in the somewhere in the 30s. You know what? I can sure. see the odds. So hold on. We're gonna find. I just can't here. log in per se. So let's just see. Yeah. Um, golf. Uh, let's see the Open Championship. Yeah, I always. All right. Open. So Fleetwood is only 35 to one. Um, I was hoping to get a little bit better. But I don't, think that's I don't care. I'm going to do it anyway. <laughs> yeah. I don't think it's that big of a difference between him and the guys above him. I really don't. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm probably, probably going to try can't lay a 20 to one um, Fleetwood. And then there's there. I'm, I'm going to I'm going to take a shot at somebody. I don't know who it's going to be, um, but I'm, I'm going to take 100 to one on somebody. We'll fi- we'll figure it out later. Yeah. Yeah. I like maybe maybe by, maybe, by, maybe by the time we're done uh, playing this game, actually. Yeah. OK, well, let's see. Um, so who do you like in the nine K range? The best, I guess, other than, than, uh, than your boy. Uh, yeah. Uh, can't lay. All right. You know what? Let's, well, let's, let's continue. Let's be, um, let's be, let's, let's, let's be kooky. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Uh, we'll be the ugly Americans. I'm going to go Will Zalatoris. Oh my God. Okay. Um, I, I was surprised. I'm surprised you pulled that one. I'm actually going to have to make sure to get Zalatoris then. Well, partially is because you also uh, reminded me to play. Him. Yeah, no, but I, I, the thing is with this range, it's so hard because I really yeah. have all these guys very similar. Um, so I will, I will, I will, but I'm, I'm in on that. I like the Zalatoris idea. I always get it here. Um, I'm going to go a little chalky and uh, say Fitzpatrick. I like that. I mean, that's, that's, that's God, top five though. Yeah. Top five is tough. But he, I mean, he or Xander are, are, are I think, yeah. oh, you know what? No, I'm so sorry. I went, to, I went Fitz. I, I totally messed up there. My actual pick is Cam Smith. I'm sorry about that. Okay. That's fair enough. Yeah. All right. How about in the 8K range to top 10? Other than, I've already used my Fleetwood, but you can use them, I guess. Uh, young, young, young guys that have no chance to win. So I'm going to go you uh, Neiman. All right. I love that. That's, yep. that's probably thematic. Anyway. Just what, just for funsies, what are his odds to win the whole? Um, oh, that's an interesting one. I bet you they're like. Well, hold on. well, first of all, first of all, home is forty to one. We'll get to him in a minute. Joaquin Neiman is fifty to one. Now, I'm sorry, but that's that too, is going to happen. <laughs> yeah, that's too. That's too much. That's too much. That right? is going to happen. Okay. Yeah, um, I agree with uh, with all that. Um, I think I'm going to go Terrell Hatton as my other guy. Yep, here. that makes sense. Yeah. Um, all right. Who do you like down in the seven Ks to top twenty? I, I guess I gotta. I gotta do the. Um, the, the Seamus Power. Um, it, the answer is probably Homer, but I'm, I'm going to say Seamus Power. Okay. I, I'm okay with the power. Um, I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to go with Homa, but again, nothing, yep. nothing way off the board there for me. Um, okay. But I, I can do that if I play some of these other guys. I do like, I, with a little shout out to, to Adam Scott, I like the idea of the Paul Casey thing. Yeah. Um, it, I, it feels like he's not going to withdraw and all the withdrawals. Of, he did it second the last time he didn't withdraw, right? Or was it third at the whatever? Right. Um, I don't know. I can, I can kind of see getting on board with that. And, and then I, I do like these, the, you know, some of these, I'm probably going to end up playing too much Tiger Woods this week is the truth. Um, but I like, I like Homa and Gooch in this range. So those are my two favorites. Um, who you got in the, are you guys all right, we're going to, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to spin the wheel for the under seven K. <laughs> And I am going to say, well, just to make the cut, right? Um, yeah, I guess I got to go with Old Faithful to make the cut. It's got to be Brian Harmon, I suppose. I like that. Um, I think uh, Mitchell and Kitty Yama are close for me, so I'll say Kitty Yama to be a, a little bit different. All right, over 9K to miss the cut. Oof. Um, over 9K to miss the cut. I hate to do it. I love this guy, but I'm going to say Hovland. Dude, that was exactly who I was going to pick. Ugh. And I was going to say, I hate to do it as well, but I am going to, I don't know why he, he just doesn't seem to do it. And I, this will be my second time. Maybe that I picked this guy to miss, miss the cut. Uh, I'm going to go all the way up over 10 K and say Colin Morikawa. Ooh, wow. Okay. I like Morikawa as a sneaky. I mean, I feel like he's sort of getting forgot about, but he's still pretty good. But yeah, I like that. I mean, that would be, that, that's an interesting odds in its own. I wonder what the odds are on that one. Yeah. Um, all right. So, you know, we've got our, our guys here. Uh, I've got the priorities now on, on Zalatoris, uh, JT, Cam Smith, Fleetwood, Fitz, Homa, uh, uh, Cantlay, Hatton, Gooch, Power, 
Kitayama and Harmon. Reserve, make sure that you get your, you reserve your entries. Make sure that you remember about the, um, about the, the early lock time, right? It's one in the morning tomorrow night. You know what I mean? Um, so Wednesday night into Thursday, 1 a.m. Eastern time. Um, I guess what's that, 10 p.m. your time? Um, so make sure that you get the, all that taken care of. Yep, absolutely. Good, good reminder. And uh, guys, good luck this week. Let's make some money. I will post my core, uh, core plays a little later for golf, probably to probably do it tomorrow. Yeah. Uh, or maybe even tomorrow afternoon or evening because I have my stuff tomorrow. But uh, this is going to be a fun one. So hopefully yep. we can make some money. It's one of those one of those for us on the West Coast. You wake up and you find out how your whole day went. You don't even need to. That's right. That's right. And then Sunday you have to plan to wake up early if you got to sweat. That's right. All right. Well, good luck, everybody. Uh, and hopefully we'll see you at the top of the leaderboards.